This is a demo of the basic setup and usage of Deadline's new shotgun integration that will be introduced in version 5.1. The first thing we need to do to get set up is to create a new script entity in Shotgun. The script name and description don't need to be anything specific, but it should indicate that this script will be used by Deadline. Once it's been created, we need to browse to the script in Shotgun in order to get its application key which we'll need later for the deadline setup. Here I'm just copying the application key to the clipboard for ease of use. That's all we need to do on the shotgun side of things, so let's hop over to the monitor for the deadline setup. If I bring up the event plugin configuration for shotgun, you'll see here that there's a bunch of options, but only a few are really necessary in order to get going. First, we need to make sure that the event plugin is turned on, Next, we need to fill in the information that Deadline needs to connect to Shotgun. This includes the URL to your Shotgun database, as well as the script name and application key from earlier. Underneath the connection settings, you'll see here a list of all the fields that Deadline will fill in for you once it creates the Shotgun version. For the most part, the default mapping should work fine, but if you want to change where Deadline fills out metadata, this is where you do it. That's it for the setup. Now let's take a look at an actual deadline submission using the shotgun integration. First we need to connect to shotgun by pulling up the shotgun form here. Now once I enter in my shotgun username, it will pull up a list of tasks that are currently assigned to me and in progress. In the event that I need to create a new task for this particular render, I can actually just click this new task menu item, which would pop me over to a standard shotgun task creation form for my browser. I actually already have a task set up for this, so I'm just going to pick it from the list here. Now that I've selected my task, I can select a template from a saved list to pre-populate my version name based on information pulled from Shotgun. Now once we're done, all the information that we just filled in should appear in the deadline submitter here. And you can actually change the version name or de description directly from here if you need to. When this job gets submitted to the deadline, a new version gets immediately created in Shotgun, which you should be able to see in the submission results. The status of this version gets updated as the deadline job passes through different states. This is all fully configurable from the monitor's event plugin settings. Another bonus of this new shotgun integration is that it also pulls metadata from the shotgun database into the deadline repository. This data is stored under the job's extra info fields, which can be displayed in the monitor's job view, as I'm showing here. It should be noted that I'm taking advantage of deadline's feature to rename the extra info fields so that I can have appropriate names for my shotgun columns. Now let's fast forward to what the shotgun version looks like once the deadline job has finished rendering. All the information you see in this version has been created and uploaded automatically by deadline. Nothing here was done manually.